When it comes to product photography, the devil really is in the detail. And to help your imagery stand out from the crowd and sell in greater numbers than your rivals, some extra work must be put in to give you the edge. One example of this extra polish to the frames could be creating a reflection that adds a pro feel to the frame. Rather than messing about with reflective surfaces and the issues this can bring to your lighting setup, the solution is to add a digital reflection using the powerful features in Affinity Photo 2. By creating the reflection digitally rather than in the studio, you have far more control over the strength of the reflection and the position in the frame. So, with your image open in Affinity Photo 2's Photo Persona, our first job is to create a duplicate layer of the background layer. To do this, all we have to do is head up to the top of the interface, find the layer menu, scroll down and select duplicate. You'll see the new layer has been created in the layers panel and is automatically selected ready for you to work on. This duplicate layer that we've just created will become our reflection, but first we need to orientate it properly. Firstly, select the Move tool from the toolbar. The keyboard shortcut for this is V. You'll see the Move tool confirm with the blue frame around your canvas here. Next, head to the top of the interface, click on Arrange, and scroll down and find Flip Vertical. There we go, our layer has flipped vertically, but that's only part of the journey, so what do we do next? Well, we need to position our reflection so that it matches up with the subject. And this can be quite hard at the moment, so what we need to do is head over to the Opacity option and scroll down and make our new layer semi-transparent. You can then hold Shift and drag down and you can get a better view of where to place the reflection. So if it's here or here, it will look a bit odd, but just marrying up with the subject works perfectly. Once you're done with that, remember to turn the opacity back up to 100%. Now, this is where the technique gets really clever. Head back to the Layers panel and select the Mask option, which is identified by a circle within a square icon. You'll see the thumbnail appear in your duplicate layer. Next, head over and select the Gradient tool. And then click and hold the mouse and drag out a line all the way down your canvas. You can use this middle bar to fine tune the effect of the gradient. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Now obviously we've got this line across our frame and that just won't do. So what I'm going to do next is select the paintbrush tool and the keyboard shortcut for this is B and make sure that the brush is set to black and has a hardness of 0% because we're just going to brush out the pixels that we don't want to appear in the final image. And remember, you can change the size of the brush using the square bracket keys, just to give you that extra bit of control. And there we go, we've created already a beautiful reflection. So let's turn this off and on. And you can see how that gradient tool has added the soft opacity to the reflection. Okay, once you've done that, you can add any adjustments you'd like to make. So head back to the Layers panel, and this time select the Adjustments icon, and this is identified by a half black, half white circle. Click on it, and I'm going to select from the drop-down menu Brightness and Contrast. And when the dialog box appears, I'm just going to ramp up the brightness, and ramp up the contrast, just to add that extra zing. So there we go, that's how to level up your product pictures by creating a digital reflection. All you need to do now is head up to File, scroll down to Export, and you can save the file in your chosen format, whether that be a JPEG, TIFF, or PSD. Thanks for watching, have fun creating your digital reflections, and I'll see you next time.